what is up guys thank you so much for tuning in for real man uh yeah man so this is a shocking episode usually in the series episode so nine say, oh yeah and uh what did you call him the other day chef ramsey yeah yeah we're gonna dub him in real time though oh mommy <laughs> okay, Peter Griffin. <laughs> Bravos. Let's go. Do you ever think like, Bravos, Bravos? <laughs> Is that not what you think? Sometimes. Oh, yeah, Khaleesi Wheel. <laughs> Khaleesi Wheel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, let's freaking go. I can't believe we're finishing this season today. That's wild. I kind of don't want to. Going by too fast, ain't it? Yeah. We recognize we're in the good old days right now. Just so you guys know, we're taking it in nice and slow, ain't we, baby? What was she like? Of course, that's what he asked, you know? She had red hair. <laughs> How big were her feet? So what do you want me to say? I want you to tell me what it was like to have someone, to be with someone. To that's kind of awkward, though. I know. I wouldn't tell you, bro. That's kind of... <laughs> that's kind of... Aw. They're, they're boys. Yeah, but I would have stuck with the red hair. A lot sooner than I'd planned. You're the closest I'll ever get to know it. Oh, he thinks he's going to die? Do you and Gilly never? No. The interesting thing is, our vows never specifically forbid intimate relations with women. The loopholes. I shall take no wife. Yes. That's well, you're there. saying. <laughs> I shall father no children. It's very specific. But what our vows have to say about other activities is open to interpretation. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> don't think Sir Alistair cares much for interpretation. At all. <laughs> you don't care about nothing. There's nothing for him to interpret. We didn't. Sounds like we should make a Supreme Court. <laughs> we can decide. What's it like? It is this person. This whole other person. You're wrapped up in them. They're wrapped up in you. For a little while, you're more than just you. You. Well, I don't know. I'm not a bleeding poet. No, you're really not. <laughs> Use your imagination, dude. An arrow, six inches from my heart. There'll be arrows for all of us soon, I imagine. They've already done the worst thing to me they could ever do. Aww. Go get some sleep, son. I'll take this watch. For some reason, I love their dynamic. Like, they're me like too. brothers to me, for sure. Yeah, I love their dynamic, too, because it's like John's the hard beep and Sam's just a little nice guy. Yeah. Because I don't know. It's like you're wrapped up in you and... But John's honestly not. He's not that hard. He doesn't... You know, he's like a good fighter, but he doesn't, like, come off as like a... Yeah, I don't know how he's to no explain Taiwan, it. that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, owl. <gasps> it's that guy. That's scary. Could be waiting here a while. Good. The longer we wait, the more arrows I'll have. Heartbroken. Well, they came up here to our land and put up a big wall and said it was theirs. Then they started hunting us down. But this time, we're the ones doing the hunting. You've got a lot to say about killing. Back in those villages, I killed just as many of them as you did. Yes, none of those were your crow lover. Well, I probably killed him already. So you've said. And if not, the only thing left of him is going to be his fun bits hanging around me neck. And more words. Know what I think you do when you see him? Serve him up a nice, juicy slice of ginger mint. <laughs> well, you've been thinking about that ginger mint. Wondering what it tastes like. Maybe I have. But for real, what it tastes like, like... Jon Snow is huh? mine. He, like, eats people. Anyone else tries to kill him, I'll have an arrow for them. How did you know that it was you? Who else? Samuel Tarly would be wasting candles to read in the middle of thousands of books and no eyes to read them. Old age is a wonderful source of irony, if nothing else. But you didn't answer my question. What are you reading? Meister Fall. The wildlings. I can assure you that the closest Meister Fall ever got to a wildling was this very library. But what it says about what they do, it's all true. It's exactly what the survivors of their raid report. Imagine the stories wildlings tell about us. Love. Is the death of duty. I told that to your friend Jon Snow once. He didn't listen, and neither did you. Which is why you've abandoned your watch atop the wall to come here and read about the terrible things that may have happened to the girl you love. I don't love her. You cap and Sam. I know. Lie. Yes, you do. Heard it in your voice when you first brought her to me. I was in love once. Oh. You were. Is it so difficult to, to imagine that an old person was once, <laughs> more or less, like you? I'm sorry, Maester. I didn't mean it like that. You know who I was before I came here? What I could have been if I'd only said the word? I met many girls when I was Aemon Targaryen. A future king always does. A king? Some of them 
Yeah, he was Aemon Targaryen. In their attempts to win my affections, one of them succeeded. Who? I was very young. Naive. Who was she? Please don't say another Targaryen. I can tell you everything about her. Who she was. She was me met. mother. <laughs> I can see her. Mm. Right in front of me. She's more real than you are. Nothing makes the past a sweeter place to visit than the prospect of imminent death. Why does this feel like a goodbye? Go to bed, Charlie. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, he never really said what happened, did he? I don't know what to do. Open the gate! I can't. Sam, is that you? <laughs> yes! Fulton gave me strict orders to not open the gate. Oh, open the fucking gate! <laughs> yes, Sam. I've never heard you curse before. Yes, well, best get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> It was horrible. <laughs> oh, Sam. <laughs> I didn't know until I got back. Don't let them send me away, Sam. Never. I know there's no women allowed. Anyone who tries to throw you out will be having words with me. From now on, wherever you go, I go to. Oh. Doesn't he have a duty, though? Ooh. Yeah, but they're like about to battle. Is that duty even like. He might not live till tomorrow. No, but if they win. They're going to need everyone they need, or they can. It's stressing me out. <laughs> Y'all better arrow that thing down. It's time. <laughs> this is like the most of Castle Black I've ever seen. There it goes. That's the biggest fire I've ever seen. Especially in this world. I guess they don't have any wildfires out there, huh? But no. it probably is the biggest fire. Dang, John got put on barrel duty. <laughs> well, let's get the next load. We don't have time for this. That's the last of the oil, Sir Alistair. A hundred thousand, you say? Yes, sir. Oh, John, I might accidentally push him off. I know. You can seal the tunnel while we had the chance. It was a difficult decision either way, sir. Do you know what leadership means, Lord Snow? He starts second-guessing himself. That's the end. This is not Good the one. end. Not for us. Not if you lot do your duty. And then you get to go on hating me, and I get to go on wishing your wildling whore had finished the job. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Jeez. You'll be safe down here. I'll check on you as soon as I can. You're leaving me again? I'm not leaving you. You said from now on we'd stay together. I didn't mean in the same room. <laughs> what are you going to do out there? <laughs> my brother. How? You're going to fight the free folk when they come. They'll kill you. You won't matter up there. You will down here. Oh. I am a man of the night's watch, Gilly. I made a promise to this. I agree with Gilly. And I have to keep it because that's what men do. I mean, I agree with them both, to be honest, but Sam's just going to get stabbed up. I'm nervous now. Yeah, me too. I feel really sad. Promise me you won't die. Promise you I won't die. <laughs> I don't believe him. Well, my theory so far is I think that, like, someone's going to escape down there and kill them while he's up there. Oh, he's nervous. There's a lot more wildlands on the other side of the wall than this side. This is the perfect place for us to be. You're not afraid? Of course I'm afraid. There's a band of wildlands coming to kill us. If you're afraid of a band of wildlands, how in seven hells did you manage to kill a white wolf? I didn't know I was going to kill it. I wasn't Samuel Tarly anymore. I wasn't a steward in the Night's Watch or son of Randall Tarly or any of that. I was nothing at all. And when you're nothing at all, there's no more reason to be afraid. But you're afraid now. I'm not nothing anymore. She better not kill Sam. Most of their men are up top. Didn't count more than 20 down here. I got a big fat one, little bony one man in the front. How oh, high are the walls? Oh, we'll be up and over before they know what's happened. Let's kill some crawl! Yeah! Is she about it? I don't know. I don't know. Well, she seems down to kill crows, just not John, because she didn't have no problem with that horse breeder or the villages. Or that little boy's dad. Mm -hmm. You know, really, I just thought about that you would think that the show would have so many battles and stuff in it. And I guess like on a small level, they do like mm -hmm. individual ones. But this is only what the second war that we've seen yeah. or the second battle. Mm -hmm. Second, like, yeah. The first was Battle of the Black. Whoa, a whole holy mammoth. I said knock and hold, you cunt. Does knock mean draw. <laughs> no, sir. You're planned to die here tonight. No, no sir. sir. That's very good to hear. Draw. First time I liked him the whole season, the whole year. Oh, she's got it. They're attacking the southern gate! Now! No! Well, how about you go, Janos? Go on down there. Brother Slinch, you have the wall. What? I respect that. I respect that about him. What are you waiting for? Loose! You heard the man! Loose! <laughs> <laughs> no! In their language, that means come on in, guys. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Get one? No. Teamwork. Oh, shit, Pip! Uh, yeah? I think we're gonna die. If you keep missing, we will. I kinda like that it just showed that. 
Oh, there's that little kid. Brothers, a hundred generations have defended this castle. You've never fallen before. She will not fall tonight. Those are Thins at our walls. Do you want to fill the belly of a Thin tonight? No! Tonight, we fight. And when the sun rises, I promise you, Castle Black will stand. Yeah! The Night's Watch will stand. Yeah! With I like me that. Now! Ah! He's in the trenches, Lord Commander. I yeah, love he it. Really is. He reminds me of Stannis in that way. That's what this battle is missing. Stannis? Yeah, this is Stannis. That was the best part of the Blackwater was following Stannis. Because he's just like, <laughs> thousands will die. No, he'll stay back there. No discipline, no training, gang of thieves, that's all this is. We can't just let them attack the gate. The bars of those gates are four inches of cold rolled steel. Those are giants riding mammoths down there. You think your cold rolled steel's gonna stop them? No such thing as giants, sorry for the children. Is he in denial? He's in King's Landing. <laughs> he's got word that Sir Allison needs you below. He really doesn't, does he? <laughs> the most experienced man he's got said he needs you. No, he really might need him. <laughs> need it below. You come into the, the King's Landing, you got this. It seemed like he tricked them. It seems like the people in King's Landing are soft, is what I'm developing. Archers! Knock your arrow! Draw! Okay, John. No! <laughs> They're more accurate for John, ain't they? Oh, I wouldn't hit one of those dudes. They won't stop it before dawn! I didn't know that! Because I've made that claim! <laughs> I've been there in a bigger hurry than you were! <laughs> nice! That's so crazy. They look like Tom Cruise out there. Because if you think about it, that climb is the most, like, that's the worst part. You're about to have to climb and then go battle with axes. Yeah. You're going to be tired and dehydrated. No, I'd be looking nice Yeah, I'd be way licking up. that wall the whole way. <laughs> it's going to be caved in by the time I get up there. Oh. Dang, he even had a way bigger arrow. He's got like a 400 pounds on. Oh. Shadow Realm. Wow. <laughs> she thought that was John. She's looking for every dude with long brown hair. <laughs> <laughs> How can you really tell them apart, though? That's kind of hard. She's out there sparing and bald dudes left and right, is she? <gasps> oh, heck no. Get him, get him, get him. I hate to say I want to see him die. Yeah, me too. But he's just so annoying. Oh, no, Gilly's in there. Is she? Oh. <gasps> Please don't hurt her. That's what I was scared of. Somebody coming in there. I didn't expect it to be him. I'm kind of glad it was him, maybe over them. I've got one. Right through the heart, he's dead. Oh, is it over? Mm. Well then. <laughs> <gasps> no! That sucks, man. He didn't even. He didn't even need to be there, too, man. Are you kidding? He's gonna make it all right. Mm -mm. If he was telling the truth about what brought him to the wall, that sucks. I was gonna wait for them giants to come to drop them things. They didn't play enough Donkey Kong growing up. <laughs> he kind of looks like Ned if he was a giant. <laughs> Man, I don't care if you're a giant or not. You ain't getting through that thing. It's like me beating through like a solid oak door. Look Shot. at him. Look at him. He's. Oh, okay, crowbar. Yeah, he's done this before. Dang, and they're smart. That's like the Westerosi way of like an F-150. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get something out. Oh, hey, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> get on down here when you get a minute. We gotta get that door off. The outer gate won't hold. Take five men. Hold the inner gate. Okay. Hold the gate. If they make it through, they won't. I love that. Come on, you lazy bastard! <laughs> oh, please don't die. Uh-oh. They're on a collision course. <laughs> Oh. <gasps> no. I just didn't want that because I liked him for like 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. Sam, you better get moving, bro. Sam, why weren't you sniping? Nice. That close range, that no scope. He made, he made one shot, ran down there, and then ran away. We need more men down here. <laughs> we have to hold the gate. But we need men here. Tell John. Easy command. Let's go. Get me to the top. Your name's Holly. Right. Get me to the top. And when we give a signal, bring us back down. Find a weapon, Holly. Fight them. Yeah, but now they might open the gate. Though. That mammoth's butt's on fire. Did you see that? They could have used some of that. Uh, what's that green stuff called again? Uh, wildfire? Wildfire. That's what they could have used. They didn't have access. 
Nice shot. Oh, he's mad. My brother. Oh, sh Oh, my man be squatting. What are you doing up here? The wadlings are over the walls. Sir Alice has fallen. The castle won't stand much longer. If they try the mammoths again, drop fire on them. If the climbers get too high, drop the scythe on them. Is John about to go grab a sword? Let's go. Let's freaking go. And the one door gave him. Night, right, boys? Light the f up. Roar! Roar! I don't know. I kind of like him commanding. Yeah, he is like personality. He gets me hype, like yeah. <laughs> you heard, John. We hold the gate. John Snow's not Lord Commander. We hold the gate. Yeah, be quiet, Pitsqueak. Father, save me. Father, save me. The gods are down here. It's the six of us. You hear me? I wouldn't even want him fighting beside me. He's too scared. I'd throw him out in front of me. Dude, you don't have time to talk about this. I'm the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield. The gods are up for bed! Please don't kill him. I don't like the night's watch! For this night! And all the nights to come! Platinum? Yeah, do I don't want you out there. You can't protect me forever. There won't be anywhere to Watch hide the screen the screw falls. me up, man. If I don't see you down on camera, I don't believe it. Right. Y'all need a headband or something. Let's go, bro. Do you hear this music? I love it. I know, it's getting me hype. There she is. They're so close. That wasn't him. God dang. That's his stunt doubles. Sam, stressing me out. Go hide. We need you, boy. <gasps> Let's go, Ghost. What if Ghost kills Egret? Eager, I don't want to see another wolf now, though. Me either, I can't. <laughs> He wants to eat him so bad. Let's go, John. He's quick. Mm -mm. Be careful who you cave with, boys. No. Oh. Oh my God. No. <laughs> who did it? That's who killed his dad, though. That was justice for him, man. Your yeah, boy said that. Just saying. We'll go about that. You know nothing. She had to go out like that, didn't she? I mean, I think she's crazy as hell, so, you know. I kind of like her. That sucks. I thought they were going to, like, team up together in the end, and, like, of course they didn't. Yeah, yeah. I thought they would just have, like, ties. I just want to hold. Where is this going to take John in my head? Yeah, me too. I guess we'll talk about that. Whoa! The anchor! What? Hoist her up! up! Booby traps on the wall. They've had enough for one night. There's a lot of John Snow looking guys all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> Still outnumber us a thousand to one. Woman, it's over. This is how a man ends. Put him in chains. We'll question him later. He might not be alive later. What y'all talking about? I should have thrown you from the top of the wall, boy! Aye, you should have. Oh, I don't like that. John's just really depressed right now. Whoa, it's me. Dang. Promise you, didn't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's in there. I bet he's gonna try to be Lord Kill Commander. Mance was testing our defenses. Here's a thousand times as many men. They'll hit us again tonight. Where are we going? We're going to find Mance. You can't do that. No one gave you any orders. Who's left to give orders? Right. The Walden army is only an army because of Mance. Without Mance, they lose their leader. Without Mance? You're going to kill him? I'm gonna try. They'll never let you within a hundred yards of him. They won't just kill you. You're right. It's a bad plan. What's your plan? <sighs> Good luck with that, John. But they stopped it. That's so sad, bro. Oh my gosh. Because these guys have been here from the start, man. They held the gate. Dang, they died for you, John. Not just for you, obviously, but. Some brothers down here to help you. We need to burn the bodies. R.I.P. Was that Gren or Bren? I always say Gren. With a G. Raise the outer gate and lower it again as soon as I'm out. Does he think he's going to negotiate with him or just like fight him? What are you doing? I promise, moment, I'd never lose it again in case I don't come back. Back. What? Holy cow. What an that episode. That was the end of the episode? All right, guys. So that was 
the watchers on the wall. I mean, I'm excited about it, man. Uh, we had us another battle. Did I mention I'm excited about it? That was so good. You know, as the person in the seat, man, the person that these people put so much time and effort to entertain, I really thought they'd done a good job executing that battle. I mean, I understand that this isn't a blockbuster movie. This is just an episode within Game of Thrones, but some of the pans and zooms and just the live action, the cinematic feel of just moving all around Castle Black and just seeing all everyone fighting and not even breaking the scenes. Mm -hmm. I just loved it. I thought that was fun. Was it better than the Battle on the Blackwater, baby? Well, okay, so the Battle of the Blackwater, to me, I felt like there was more stakes because we knew the characters a little more. It felt more political, didn't it? Right. right, and right. we just knew, we just had a really working relationship with all the characters, and this one, we kind of started to develop like a good love for these characters in this episode. Like, for example, Sir Alistair. I really didn't care about the guy at all. Kind of hated him because he's such, like, an annoying like, Right, prick. but he won your heart. But when he actually went out there and, like, you know, he was, like, he's... Any he's, man willing to die for his right. cause for his brothers like that. I but mean, it, was, it wasn't that. Him. It was just, like, he was, like, ready. Like, he yeah. literally went down there and was, like, let's go. And to me, that makes me, like, like him a lot. It makes me hate Janos a lot. We didn't see him die. He just got cut, No, he got right? killed. Oh, he died? Mm -hmm. Did he? Thorman killed him. Yeah, yeah, he did. There was a lot going on. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I know he killed him, but I didn't see his final breath. I just saw no, he, he them died. pull him inside. He died? Okay. Awesome episode, guys. So you can have giants, you can have mammoths, you can have all that. But if you got a plan, if you got a giant hook attached to your wall, you can you can do things, man. I can't believe that they booby-trapped it like that. That was really nuts to me. The amazing symbolism of the fade to white transition at the end of this episode. Jon Snow, once again, man, taking his place back in the north. Mm -hmm. Seems like he's just there a lot. Right. But he's like he's like an ambassador for for basically south of the wall, like West all of Westeros. Yeah. He's always up north, like doing like doing some good work. So good thing we got John on our on our right. side. The show definitely told me in this episode that there seems to be a leadership vacuum in this episode, mm -hmm. and John seemed to be the guy for the job. John and I don't know the other guy's names. Guys, I'm terrible with names. I know you know this by right. now, but it I just, know the main character. It just seemed but. like a lot of like a lot of the people around John really respect him. And like they're willing to die for him. Absolutely. Like clearly you saw that whenever they were holding the giant. And I think that's just what makes like John a leader without him like, you know, having to be the leader. He just like is by fighting with them and being brothers with them. And I, I really respect right. John in that way. I, I He's becoming like, you know, at first he was kind of like a not one of my favorite characters, but he's like in the top five now. I don't know that I'd put him in my top five per se his the i don't the know it's hard with, it's hard the scene with egret and i know i pronounce her name wrong a lot sorry about that yeah, but that was like that was really like i don't know how i felt about it because you know i really wasn't like feeling her for a while because she turned kind of rogue but she spared him again and that to me is like i don't think she was ever going to kill him i genuinely don't believe yeah that. probably not I like her character a lot, man. I think that you love to hate her. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of great to her, but looking back at her, I mean, for what it's worth, man, I just thought she was a great addition to the show. Yeah, I, I really did. She I, definitely was. Well, I, it's hard for me to say, but I feel like she will be a great addition to the show. Well, basically, what I was trying to say, babe, is there seems to be a, a leadership vacuum. John is taking over. It seems like that's the vibe that I was getting, right? And so her death is kind of like his birth. Right, you like he saying? needed that to happen. Right. To, yeah. And that's why I really like her character. I mean, she was an awesome actor. She, I mean, she played the role of what her role was supposed to be, just like mm. a roughneck wild yeah. wing lady. I, I, I mean, loved she it. Played it. She was hell on wheels, the definition. She was hell on wheels, and I, that's absolutely. what I loved about her. So, like, get her a Bud Light, please. It was really sad to see her go. Um, yeah. It was really cool to see Sam kind of like step up as the man of like his household. But when she killed that dude right in front of Sam, that's when in my mind, it, it kind of clicked like, okay, I really don't like her. Right. But it's hard for John. But at the same time, I'm a, I don't really think John has any business liking her anyways. I think that he should just find someone. I mean, you see they're literally at war with each other. That's like, I mean, you know what that's like, dude. I mean, right. I just feel like he was infiltrating and ended yeah, up yeah. falling in love. It and, happens. For sure. Yeah. And you know, honestly, I would say though, of all episodes nines that we've seen, because, you know, the first one was Ned. The second one was Blackwater. The third one was um, <coughs> Catelyn and Rob. The Red Wedding, yeah. Yeah, so this one. The Rings of Castamere. This one was tough. I will say it was tough, but it wasn't like one of those where I'm just like, I mean, I did have some tears, but I'm not like, you know, freaking out about it. 
We got one more episode to go. Yeah, we do, but I'm just saying for episode nine. I know, you know? what you're saying, yeah. Like at episode nine, that was the chill, the most chill for me. Uh, that battle was crazy. I didn't expect it to be going down quite like that. I didn't realize that battle was going to take place in that episode. I mean, I knew it was coming. I didn't realize that was the episode. So that surprised me a little bit going in. I thought it was really good, man. Very well executed. A lot of pieces on the chessboard got moved around and I have a whole new perception of John now. Right. Thank y'all for tuning in. Season finale. Right where we left off. Look. John's crazy as hell for this. Man, that's like a long hike, too. He's gonna know exactly what to say when he gets here. <laughs> well, he's had a long time to think about it. Mm -hmm. You're wearing a black cloak again. Been sent to negotiate with you. John's got nuts of Valyrian steel, don't he? <laughs> like, a, like a stepson that just pulled in or something. <laughs> Looking like Theon. It appears my trusting nature got the better of me. I was hoping your loyalty was real when you pledged yourself to us, Jon Snow. Truly, I was. I was loyal. My night's watch vows. All of your vows. Love it. <laughs> she wasn't enough to turn you, eh? She put three hours in me when I escaped. Did you see her again at Castle Black? Yes. And? She's dead. We'll drink to her. Don't try it, John. This isn't King's Landing. He wants to take that that sword off his hip. It's just probably mammoth this or something. Of all the ways I'd kill you, poison would be the last. Be great. Be great. <laughs> what do you drink? It's not wine. No, it's a proper northern <laughs> drink, John Snow. You did well. Fought hard. One of our giants went into your tunnel and never came out again. Mag the Mighty. He's dead. He killed my friend Gren. He was their king. The last of a bloodline that stretches back before the first men. Wow. Gren came from a farm. <laughs> <laughs> a drink to that. Mag He's saying it don't matter. <laughs> Mag, you're here to strike a bargain. You know I know you're low on arrows. You're low on oil. You're low on men. How many are left? Fifty? I told Tormund and Durell. We have more than a thousand men. I showed you everything I had. The whole army, a hundred thousand strong. And what did you do? You fired. Here's me being honest with you, Jon Snow, which is more than you've ever done for me. My people have bled enough. We are here to hide behind your wall. And we both know that winter is coming. You want to strike a bargain with me? Here's the bargain. You go back, you open the gates to us, and I swear to you that no one else will die. Oh, God. Do you believe him? I'm going to kill every last one. Yeah, I do believe him. <laughs> you do? I do believe him, yeah. He's I mean, winter's God. coming. He's not lying about that. Yeah. He, like, he has a moral obligation to his people. He seems like an honest dude, honestly. That's why you're here. They'll kill you, of course. They'll kill you slow. You knew that when you came in here. Desperate. Are you capable of that? Killing a man in his own tent when he's just offered you peace. Is that what the Night's Watch is? Is that what you are? Are you attacking us? I don't believe the Thins like would stop. We don't have the men. Who's attacking them? Walkers. Who's this? It's not walkers, it's people. Lots of them. I should know about that flag, but hang on. Oh, they're well trained, look. Come on, John, you gotta go, brother. He's about to be fighting right alongside of them. Bro, they're coming they on both tough. sides. Oh, oh man. That, and it was a heart. Man, now I kind of feel bad for them. I mean, like, I understood the situation going into it. You know, that's why I was not so hard on Egret. But man, you know, they are very brutal, though. Yeah. But they're just looking for survival, too. Yeah. But who is this? Who's got a heart? I don't know. I don't know Yellow Heart. I don't know Yellow Heart. I said my people have bled enough, and I meant it. <gasps> Whoa! Sister -s -s Stannis. I'm more happy about Davos, though. Got a little gold. They're ready for the war. The Onion Knight, boy. I know. Look at him right there. No helmet. Why this music? What's though? the flag, though? It's a heart. Oh, yeah. It's a burning heart. Oh, sorry about you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Be merciful, Stannis. You're the king beyond the war. <laughs> He pulled up. No, I am. Never had the pleasure. This is Stannis Baratheon, the one true king of the Seven Kingdoms. We're not in the Seven Kingdoms, and you're not dressed for this weather. It is customary to kneel when surrendering to a king. We do not kneel. We're not here to slaughter beat dogs. Their fate depends on their king. All the same, we do not kneel. The man of the Night's Watch doing in a wildling camp. I was sent to discuss terms with the king beyond the wall. You're speaking to the one true king boy. You will address him as your grace. I know he's the king. My father died for him. My name is Jon Snow, your grace. I'm Ned Stark's son. Oh, God. Oh. He's about to get caught up with your the dang father cold. was an honorable man. He was, your grace. What do you think he'd have done with him? That's tough, man. I was this man's prisoner once. He could have tortured me. He could have killed me. But he spared my life. I think my father would have taken him prisoner. Listen to what he had to say. Very well, then. Take him. That was kind of beautiful, I Mr. Baratheon. I love you, 
Yeah, that was good. If my father had seen the things that I've seen, he'd also tell you to burn the dead before nightfall. All of them. No problem. I love burning people. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, he does. The look of the poppy. Bloody mud. The cause appears to be a manticore venom. It is. The death's head manticore. It's a horrible poison. So he's poisoned too? I think he got infected from the cut. Yeah, with poison. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it was? He actually poisoned it? Oh, because Oberon used to study poisons. Mm. Smart. This man is not even a maester, let alone a grand maester. That's for the best. No maester knows how to save him. That is exactly the sort of arrogance that had him expelled from the citadel, your grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah this guy. Tell, in my opinion. He Jealous. Dismissed, Grand Maester. Necromancy or something they said? You can save him. Difficult to say, Grace. But if my past work is any guide, you stand a chance. Do everything you can. Come to me for anything you need. Thank you, your grace. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. The process may change him. Will it weaken him? Oh, no. Very well, then. Yeah, she said bump Tyrion. So he's using like modern type medicines. Like I'm assuming he's about to hit him with like a steroid. He's about to make him a super soldier. <laughs> right. About to Captain America his ass. Yeah. Not another word. We've been over this. The matter's closed. I'm opening it again. You were betrothed to Loras Tyrell. <laughs> still betrothed to Loras Tyrell. And you will marry Loras Tyrell as soon as Tommen marries Marjorie. I will not. Jamie cannot marry or inherit lands. You have, on several occasions, made great claims about your commitment to this family's future. I will stay in King's Landing where I belong with my son, the King. When you were nine years old, I was called to the capital. I decided to take your brother with me and not you. And if you recall... I'm not interested in hearing another one of your smug stories about the time you won. <laughs> this isn't going to be one of those times. When you marched into the throne room to tell me we'd won the Battle of Blackwater, do you remember? I remember. Me too. The Iron Throne with Tommen. I was about to give him Essence of Nightshade. That's how far I was willing to go when I thought someone awful had come to take my son away. Someone awful is coming to take him away. Joffrey is dead. Marcel has been sold like livestock. And now you want to ship me off to Highgarden and steal my... My boy, my last boy. I will burn our house to the ground before I let that happen. Wow. How will you do that? I'll tell everyone the truth. What truth would that be? You never believed it. How can someone so consumed by the idea of his family have any conception what his actual family was doing? We were right there in front of you and you didn't see us. One real look at your own children and you would have known. Known what? Oh, you don't want to know, Pops. Everything they say is true about Jamie and me. No. no your no, legacy no. is a lie. No. I don't believe you. Dang. Yes, you do. Reigns of Casimir. Tywin gets to have his dream life, right? He's just the ultimate, just alpha out there. You know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. most powerful man, but it's all, but it's not what he wants it to be because it's all built on the line. He knows it. Jamie. He's in denial. Well, his kids are all wild and they don't listen. <laughs> you won. One fewer brother. You must be proud of yourself. There's really nothing you wouldn't do as For my family, no, nothing. I would do things for my family you couldn't imagine. Tyrion is your family. He's not. You don't get to choose. I do, so do you. The disease doesn't decide to kill you. All the same, you cut it out before it does. <laughs> what do you decide? I choose you. Those are words. Yes, like the ones I just said to father. I told him. I told him about us. Oh, you don't get to make that choice. I told him I won't marry Loris Tyrell. I told him I'm staying right here with Tom and with you. We'll just accept that. Go and ask him. What did you say? I don't want to talk about Tywin Lannister. Why do you have to say that? I love her. People will whisper. They'll make their jokes at them. They're all so small I can't even see them. They only see what matters. Daenerys Germasmo Ayo Naijo Dema. Marino Daria. Andaro Si Hoenero Si Elio Varu Daria. And Parmenko and Basma. Just so many. <laughs> You're right. Just so many words. In the Urnio Sitkin Vis, we say, You have Brazi Fenez Isa. Can speak the common tongue if you wish. You speak it very well. Before you freed me, I belonged to Master Migdal. I was tutor to his children. I, little Kala is only seven, but she admires you very much. I hope I can prove worthy of her admiration. When you took the city, the children begged me not to leave the house. But Master Migdal and I agreed that I must, so I lost my home. Mm -hmm. Now, I live on the street. I have outfitted mess halls to feed all former slaves and barracks to shelter. I do not mean to offend. The young prey on the old. Take what they want and beat us if we resist, even if they are safe. Who would I be there? What purpose would I serve? With my master, I was a teacher. I had respect and love of his children. What is it that you want from me? 
Your Grace, I ask you to let me sell myself back to Master Migdal. You want to return to a man who owned you, like a goat or a chair? Please, Your Grace. The young may rejoice in the new world you have built for them, but for those of us too old to change, there is only fear and squalor. Oh, I never looked I at it from their side. I did. I mean, I thought about it. It was kind of like Shawshank Redemption. I thought about all that in those episodes, but everybody was getting mad at me. To preside over the injustice I fought to destroy. I was about to say it ain't so black and white. It's not that simple. Freedom, but freedom means making your own choices. I will allow you to sign a contract with your former master. It may not cover a period lasting longer than a year. They're still not free because she's allowing things. Like you see the problem here. That's the paradox with the whole thing. The masters will take advantage of this situation. The men serving them will be slaves in all but name. Well, at least it's their choice, though, now. Approach, my friend. I have brought you. He came from the sky. The black one, the winged shadow. Dragon. He came from the sky and... Oh, my girl, my little girl. Oh my gosh, this just got ten times heavier, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh man. What was her name? Zyla, your grief. How old was she? Three. Oh my gosh. Three. Save Vasir Drogon on the Toxtaur. He's missing. What is she gonna do? Not kill them, right? There's no way. Oh, she's chaining them up. And that's crazy because she's like the breaker of chains. Right. The symbolism. I mean, that thing's a danger to everybody, though. I know so many of you guys are all about the dragons and stuff, but man, those things are scary. And one of them is missing. Yeah, at least give him some gold to lay in. She tied them both up. I didn't even realize that. I hate to see it. I hate to see it, but I know it's for the, it's the right thing to do. I mean, it's not the dragon's fault, it's the dragon, you know? Yeah. And I feel for her because those are like her kids. They came to us from White Harbor, and Barrowton, from Fair Market, and King's Landing. They died protecting men, women, and children who will never know their names. It is for us to remember them, our brothers. And now their watch is ended. And now their watch is oh wow it's crazy to see them there good characters right there man i'm the best oh no <sighs> watch out for leeches john i know you about to fall dead bro <laughs> your old blind man patched me up he's sworn to treat all wounded men friend or foe so how do we die hanging beheading i don't know what happens to the prisoners who decides i suppose stannis does he your king now I don't have a king. Yes, you do, bro. You spent too much time with us, Jon Snow. You can never be a kneeler again. <laughs> You're gonna burn the bodies of your dead. Do you wanna say any words over them? Words? What kind of words? Funeral words. I don't know how the free folk do it. Do what? Say farewell. Dead can't hear us, boy. Yeah, they're busy being White Walkers. <laughs> John's like, stay no. stubborn then. Who cares? Did you love her? She loved you. She told you? No, all she ever talked about was killing you. <laughs> That's, That's what it means. <laughs> she belongs in the north, the real north. Man, that's cute and all. You understand me? It just seemed like in the beginning there was so much more respect around this place, but I guess it's been cleared out. But John's just doing sort of whatever he wants now. Mm -hmm. We gotta taste the freedom. That'll change somebody, right? Well, there's just not really any consequences, I guess. Well, it just so happens that every person that's supposed to be over him is dying, so. Yeah. Well, now he's in charge. Well, no, still Stannis is. I don't think he's gonna stay there, though. Not long term. No. Nah. That was respectable. It's okay, John. Usually your first doesn't work out anyways. We can stop. We can rest. Rest with the three-eyed ray. We're not going to make it. We're already here. Jojen! Jojen! Look, Jojen, look! Is it one of those trees? Because it looks bright down there. Mm-hmm. Looks beautiful. <clears throat> I'd feel it's like such so a wuss beautiful. if I fell 20 steps from where I needed to go. This kid has seemed to have been dying for like the past season. Man, they're kind of far still. Is that the three-eyed raven? The wolves walk so beautiful, don't they? Mm -hmm. So graceful. <gasps> what a hand? Oh, it's some. Oh my! Oh, he ran though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, hold on. Oh, they are screwed. Oh my gosh! 
Those ones are straight skellies. This looks like some Night of the Living Dead up in here. Boy, they can fight. They came across some ex warriors, didn't they? This reminds me of that Mario game <laughs> with those like skeleton Koopas or something. <laughs> Oh, be nice oh, to no. him. How do they have a hammer? Oh. Oh, he's warging. Run! Oh, that's such a dangerous spot. Save yourself! Now! Oh, no. no. Oh, Bro, that was no. so, like... Oh, man. Whoa! Who's throwing fire bombs? Come with me, Brandon Stark. What the hell? What show are we watching? <laughs> no. He is lost. Come with me or die with him. <gasps> Go with him. No. Now we're on, we're on our own. We don't have the instructional character anymore. Man, it seemed like just yesterday. I thought that was Peter Pan. Yeah. <laughs> Why she got fireballs coming out of her hands like that? I don't know, but I'm glad they went in the cave with her. For a second, I thought that was like an X-Men movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> Y'all can't come in there. Ha ha. They cannot follow us. The power that moves them is powerless here. Who are you? First men called us the children. Oh, oh yeah. Them. Title. We met one of these? That's crazy. I didn't think we'd meet one. I didn't think they were still around. Nah, I thought they was like... They created it and then they yeah. died. But apparently they're magic AF. I'd be kind of creeped out if you... That thing invited me in there, though. I know. Don't you feel like you're going to get wrapped up by that spider on Lord, Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Heck no. This must be the good old three eye right here. Joroff and Mama. The skull, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. Here's a three eyed raven. I've been many things. Now I am what you see. I've been watching you, all of you. That's why he didn't look shot when all he was getting stabbed. With a thousand eyes and one. Now you've come to me at last, Brandon Stark, though the hour is late. I didn't want anyone to die for me. He died so you could find what you have lost. You're going to help me walk again? You'll never walk again. Oh. Mm, that sucks. But you will fly. Wow. Like, literally? That was like a Gandalf thing. Maybe you can just think every old white guy with a beard is Gandalf now. No, because he said fly. Oh, like fly, you fools? Yeah. <laughs> Podrick. Where are the horses? <laughs> Dumb. I hobbled them last night. What sort of hobble? Figure eight, like you taught me. If you did it like I taught you, then the horses would be here. Thieves, maybe? It's at least 30 miles to the Erie from here. You're carrying the saddlebags. He said, this is why I never needed a squire. <laughs> is that Arya? Yeah. <laughs> Brienne probably sees herself as a young girl. You can shit later, there's people coming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's on lookout. <laughs> I like the sword. Are we getting close to the bloody gate? About 10 more miles. Do you hear that, Podrick? Only 10 more miles to the bloody gate. Are you a knight? No. But you know how to use that sword? I do. Does it have a name? Oath Keeper. <laughs> Mine's Needle. Besties. Good name. We taught you how to fight. My father. The hound's still going better. <laughs> <laughs> Mine never wanted to. Said fighting was for boys. Mine said the same, but I kept fighting the boys anyway. Kept losing. Finally, my father said, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. Seven blessings. <laughs> I'm Brienne of Tarth. <laughs> you want something? Send or Clegane, the hound. You are your Stark. I asked if you wanted something. I swore to your mother I would bring you home to her. My mother's dead. I know. I wish I could have been there to protect her. You're not a northerner. But I swore a sacred vow to protect her. Why didn't you? She commanded me to bring Jamie Lannister back to King's Landing. You paid by the Lannisters. You here for the bounty on me? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not paid by the Lannisters. Fancy sword you got there. Oh no, it's a Lannister's sword. I've been looking at Lannister gold all my life. Jamie Lannister gave me the sword. I swore to your mother by the old I gods don't care new. what you swore. She's not coming with you. She is. You're not a good listener. Valerian steel. I always wanted some Valerian steel. Come with me, Arya. I'll take you to safety. Safety? Where the f is that? Her auntie Neary's dead. Her mother's dead. Her father's dead. Her brother's dead. There's no safety, you dumb <laughs> You don't know that by now. You're the wrong one to watch over her. And that's what you're doing, watching over her. He really is. In his own way. Aye, that's what I'm doing. No. Man, Brandon <laughs> takes her a serious. <laughs> so kept serious. Kept it moving. She can okay. Bye. Nice to meet you, Julie. <laughs> Just kept it moving. <laughs> That's funny though. She takes her oath so seriously, and the hound says "f the king." <laughs> They're so opposite. Can none of them win? They look pretty even, huh? I just don't want them. I don't want anyone to die. Either. No. No. 
Mercy, mercy, mercy. No. I have no wish to kill you, sir. Man. Oh, you're so dramatic. Why are you doing that? I'm not a knight. Bro, Brian, don't give him no, 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 no. Smack his ass. <gasps> no, Patrick, where are you? <gasps> oh my God! Did she just bite his ear off? Yeah. Mike Tyson, like. Oh, dude. Dang. Oh. She's about to kill the hound. This is crazy. Oh, he's about to kill her. Is no. he okay? That was incredible by Brienne, but I don't want the hound to die either, though. That was a crazy scene. Like, I was not expecting oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Where is she? She was just here. Why weren't you watching her? I was watching you. I thought you might need some help. Are you thinking? Where did she go? Uh, I think that way. Oh, she escaped. Oh, yeah. She probably thinks she's going to get taken. I don't blame her for not going with her, you know? Yeah, right back to the Lannisters, yeah. But what the hound don't realize is they're basically on the same team, I think. Their team bumped the Lannisters, right? Yeah, they could have been a family. Dang. You're still here. Oh my gosh. I didn't need saving. No, not you. You're a real killer with your water dancing and your needle. <laughs> You're gonna die. Unless there's a mace to hide him behind that rock. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm done. No. I'd skin you alive for wine. <laughs> Killed by a woman. I bet you like that. <laughs> Go on. Go after her. She'll help you. Going out alone. I won't last a day out there. I'll last longer than you. You remember where the heart is. Did he say help me out, Loki? Oh my god, there's gonna be Ready. so many deaths this episode. Go on, girl. What if she sticks it in his eye? Not a name off your list. Not the back of his skull. Kept promising me. I cut down your butcher's boy. The he's ginger. Trying to, he's trying to antagonize her to do it. He was begging for mercy. Please, sir. Please don't kill me. Please, please. Bled all over my horse. Saddle stunk a butcher's boy for weeks. Your sister, pretty sister. I should have taken her. That night the black water burned. At least I'd have one happy memory. Do I have to beg you? Wow. Arya doesn't seem very interested in that anymore, does she? Mm -mm. His acting's incredible, though. She just robbed him. Kill me. Kill me. Bro, is she leaving him there to die or is she giving him mercy? I don't know. Help! Holy crap, that was so good by this show. And she just like takes his money and goes. Because like, guys, I'm so sorry to pause it. She robs him. So it's almost like, even if you do like make it out, dude, I'm I'm, I'm like screwing you anyway. Right. So like, screw you, dude. But at the same time, like. I don't want you to die, but screw you. <laughs> well, I don't know if like, she just wants him to die bloody and slow. You get what I'm saying? Like you right, guys because, get what I'm saying. Because in that last episode, remember she did that, they did that guy a favor by killing him he was like struggling and they right. yeah so yeah. it was like she just didn't return the favor yeah exactly but crazy. it was almost like i don't know man did she spare him or was she trying to like ultimately like screw him over there or was it know. like a little bit of all of it i like that that was fun yeah that was fun all right run it damn there's only 20 minutes this on with it you son of a whore what Is that any way to speak about her mother what are you doing what do you think i'm doing Gally's waiting in the bay pound for the free city. Who's helping you? Oh, is he freeing him? No shot. Varys is helping. He must think it's best for the realm. Mm-hmm. It's a locked door at the top of the stairs. Knock on it twice. And twice again. I suppose this is goodbye then. Aw. Bro, but if Cersei finds out that Jamie freed Farewell. their own son's killer, oh my god. Jamie, thank you for my life. Wow. What a moment. Ah. Uh, Why is he nervous? Maybe he's hoping it'll be Varys on the other side of that door. Yeah, true. Lannister? It's just saying that, like, he's walking away from that family name, I think. Is he at Cersei's? Kill Cersei? The Hand? I wouldn't. My lion. Oh my god, that's Shay! No way. What? Did she just call him my lion? Yes, she oh, did. Oh my god, The bro. disrespect. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh my god, he's choking her. Bro. With a chain. Dude, I knew there was something odd about that girl, bro. Like, I knew there was something wrong with her. I wonder how long she's been doing that, that back and forth. So she really only was with Tyrion 200% just to, like, increase her situation. Like, be there? She was just playing her game in her own way. That was her own Game of Thrones to be in King's Landing. That's freaking crazy, dude. Wow. I'm sorry. Well, where's Varys? Like, what did that have to do with Varys? He's turning into Joffrey. Joffrey <gasps> Jr. He just had like a character shift, probably. He's probably about to go freaking evil. Where's he going? I have no idea. Probably to go see Cersei. But he is in Tywin's tower, because it's a tower. 
<gasps> Julian, put down the crossbow. Or what? Who released you, brother? I expect he always had a soft spot for you. Come on. We'll go and talk in my chambers. He's trying to power move him right now. He thinks Lane he's in control. You want to speak to me? Hmm. Shaming your father has always given you pleasure. All then. my life, you've wanted me dead. But you refuse to die. I respect that. Even admire it. You fight for what's yours. You're a Lannister. You're my son. Mm. I loved her. Who? Shay. Tyrion. Put down that crossbow. I murdered her with my own hands. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. She was a whore. Oh, Say shit. that word again. And what? You'll kill your own father in the privy? No. I mean, she kind of was. He just don't want to hear son. it. Now, enough of this nonsense. I am your son. And you sentenced me to die. You knew I didn't poison Joffrey. But you sentenced me all the same. Why? Enough. Go back to my chambers and speak with some dignity. I can't go back. Oh, is he in the bathroom? He's afraid of a dead whore. <laughs> oh. No way. Watch your mouth, Tywin. You ain't in control no more. Oh, my God. That's fatal, ain't it? This one might be. Bro. Jamie's going to ultimately probably take the blame for this. Though. Oh, no. Maybe, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. He's betraying Jamie here. No son of mine. I am your son. Oh, he's not your son now. I have always been your son. <laughs> the the rain. Rain to Oh, my gosh. Chills. That one was for two Bs, you son of a. What have you done? Quickly. Trust oh. me. Oh. I brought you this far. You see yeah, the chills? Oh my gosh, guys. I feel like in a panic. Me like, too. I feel like I don't know what to do right now. Like, I need I a know. second. I, I just don't even know what happened. <laughs> I'm really shocked right now. That's a cool, calm, collected mother right there, boy. It's Varys. Oh, the bells. It's already, they already know what happened. <laughs> Is he turning around and going on the ship? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. He said, uh uh, I'm not going back there. <laughs> So they're gonna cut my balls off. I don't even have. Oh yeah, because Jamie knows that Tyrion was gonna get him, so they could think they did it together. And once her, yeah, Jamie might sing. <sighs> Jamie's like, I let you out, but I didn't tell you to go kill everybody. This music, guys. Like angels singing. Yeah. She's solo dolo. What are we gonna do? Where's this place? <laughs> it looks like Elsa. I want to see the captain. You're seeing him. I want to go north. The wall. No, you don't. <laughs> I could work scrubbing the floors. I'm not of... going north, child. I'm going home. Where's home? The free city of Bravos. Wait, I have something else. More silver. Oh, yeah, that silver. coin. It's iron. How did you? Valar Magulis. Oh. <laughs> How do I respect? <laughs> of course. You shall have a cabin. Oh, she shall have a cabin because of Valar Magulis. It's all about who you know, people. She made connections. It I just had out. an epiphany, though. Silver doesn't mean anything, but iron does. So when they're saying they paid the iron price, are they really on to something? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. That ship is tough. So we're finally going to figure out about Bravos because she's about to go. Bro, what is this music? Wait, what is going on? This show's the best. This is dope, y'all. Is that not my favorite weather? Mm, God, that was good. Jeez, oh my gosh, man. we're on season five now? Guys, I don't know where to start. Um... I can honestly say, watching the show, that might have been the most fun I've ever had. Yeah, me watching too. the show. Me too. That was a really good something, episode. Something about like whoever the team, whoever's the team who puts all this together. Like you know, so many people have their hands in this project, you know. But the way they wrap that episode up with the music, just almost like hopeful. Yeah. Seeing, you know what I'm saying? Like you saw all this ah, negative that was stuff. So you saw good. all this crazy stuff, but then you saw one little glimpse of like something beautiful going on that you think is beautiful. You're not really sure, but it makes you feel that way because it's just like the way they set it up. When Game of Thrones is over, guys, we're going to be watching something else. And you're probably going to wonder yourself, I wonder if Mr. and Mrs. October like this show as much as Game of Thrones. We don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We like We nobody, might be into it at the time. You can't like something more than this. I don't Guys, know. this is good. If if we ever see anything that tops this, guys, this right here is becoming straight. It's top tier. Freaking theater. I don't know where to start. That was that to me, man. It's just the investment that I'm really getting in this world. The more we travel it, the more I'm starting to understand it. The more I'm starting to feel like home. How can you not like Arya Stark, dude? Like, how, like, how could you not like her? She is not? cool, man. Yeah, she's such a cool character, baby. Can you please try to get us through this episode? Can we try to talk about what happened? Okay, well, without getting me lost, because dude, this was freaking packed. Let's guys. talk about the episode name in itself, the children. Okay. So when we're talking about the children, where did we see the children in this episode, right? Right. So the, to me, I saw the children. I saw the children as in the Lannisters because the Lannisters all defied their dad, which also their dad died. Brilliant, so, right. so but then I also thought about the children of the forest because they were also they were the ones that dropped the title. But then I think about the dragons being children. So I'm thinking about the episode. The children reflected on three different types of children who all went through adversity in this. Maybe the 
yeah it's almost like it's saying like yo think you know triple think what you do because ultimately like the person you are today is going to determine who your kids are in the future in so many ways and just do a good job man be smart because eventually it might come back and shoot you in the ass while you're on the toilet you know what i'm saying so literally literally um so that was just one thing but i guess like do you want to do you want to talk about like what was the biggest thing in this whole season to you or this episode uh, man dude so the biggest thing to me guys just hang on let me get their little recap up everybody i like to be able to scroll through this little episode and just see in order where we're at so i think the first thing that really got me guys man was obviously obviously stannis came to the rescue right man he ended the war in the north and it appears castle black has finally been retaken back and just the way that they came in, just the way their formation was organized. The way it was shot. The way it was shot. So he did get those second sons. Absolutely. The cell swords. It was gorgeous. Right. The way they the way they filmed it was absolutely brilliant, man. It was beautiful. And they pulled up at the right time. It was like it worked because there was so much going on, guys, but in the north there's so much snow. And so you got the contrast of the mm. dark uniforms and the horses and it's kicking up the snow and it's creating like just enough fog effect. Just the choices, the choices of where to shoot this are, are top tier to me. Right. That was one of the greatest scenes in the show I've seen. You know, it wasn't exactly like a full fledged battle, but they had say, like a but drone, but they had like a drone footage of like loved all of them coming it. together. That was so nice looking. Yeah. The flag sort of threw me off because I didn't really see him. Right. Said the heart. Well, well, it was yellow. That's what threw me off. So it was like a yellow. It was combined of Stannis and the cell swords because the cell swords are yellow. I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend that I'm as smart with those details as you, though. I well, mean, I'm not. like obsessed with those details. Right. So, yeah, like I, I miss some. Um, um, that was that was really awesome to see that that whole shot. I guess man, did that mean where did you see Mance die? Because I didn't see Mance die. Yeah, me either. I don't know what happened to him. John granted him mercy though. Ultimately, when Stannis came up, right. So something really interesting is John's becoming someone who is not a niller, right? And he said right. that. So he's came along. I way. don't know what's gonna happen, but it just seems like John, his character development is starting to become meaningful because I guess he's he's starting to like step up in such a vacuum of right. And the North is a is a huge strategic point in this show. Like right. the North is just as valuable. Talking about the Wall, of course, as like King's Landing, like strategically. And I guess in the the greater scheme of things it ultimately might be the most important geological right. location in the show i agree with that Go ahead, babe. i also agree that you know he's came a long way because you remember the first time he met mance he kneels like immediately, immediately almost like yeah. annoyingly and now so, he's like yeah. i'm not kneeling like yeah like not even to stannis not to anybody yeah. so that's impressive right so that's going to be a little awkward man um yeah very interesting seeing stannis just make his way around uh westeros and make his way up to the north him and john on the same screen is a little interesting absolutely and then we had something very interesting going on one of my favorite characters in the show one of the most interesting is the story of daenerys targaryen um if there's a statement out there uh about just be careful what you wish for i guess maybe this scene encapsulated it where the guy was saying that ultimately like he's old man and he's just sort of set in his ways like you know he rose with the sun and went to sleep with the moon so he's just saying that's how he's always been and the younger generation are enjoying their newfound liberation if you will and freedom but he said it's old and you know it's just really interesting guys because just i don't know maybe it's just the way i think but i mentioned it in the show my whole thing with with Danny is she's coming in and everything she's doing is just so righteous and it just seems so right. But obviously reality is very gray and it's hard. And she's ultimately coming in and she's saying like, I'm going to grant you freedom as long as you bow to me. Right. You still have to answer to me though. Right. Right. So like she's not free, really offering freedom. She's lying. You're she's free to everyone but me. And, and I, and I understand that she says, well, if you know, you're free to go, but in this society, there's, there's free people and then there's slaves. So the slaves who decide not to fight, I don't really know where they're supposed to go, what they're supposed to do. She's obviously trying to set up some type of government, right? She's trying to set up a government and she's trying to rule over these places. And that's what she's struggling with. But as you know, man, government run things aren't good. Like if you think government ran things are good, then you just live in a really nice place, I guess. But typically when I go somewhere government ran, it moves extremely slow. No one's in a hurry. No one cares. No one feels like they can get fired. No one. They treat you like you're a number 100 percent. And he said that's what it's like, man. She's setting up this little shadow government in her place to try to help things run. And ultimately, the people on the ground are just exploiting it. And it's just different. And it's one of those things, man. Like, I just don't think that she understood exactly like what she was getting herself into when she decided to play this game right but she i mean just like there's everyone else she's just trying to figure it out it. yeah there's it's just that everything's already set in westro so it's almost like not that interesting but over here it's like they have an opportunity to reshape culture and the right. foundation of civilization 
and it can go in so many ways. And like, I get that she's freeing people, but she just has to put out a few fires. Like there's going to be lots of fires when you do something. So like when you switch something on its head, yeah, you're going to have to deal with a lot of backlash because of things you probably didn't think about like this, for example. Well, ultimately, like, you know, say we're just doing fine over here, but, you know, maybe we're not doing as fine as we think. Or maybe someone thinks we're not doing as good as we think we're doing. And someone comes along and forces us to fight. And then ultimately, like, you lose everyone in your family. Right, but your then they say, well, hey, well, you know, we helped you. It's like, in a way, you kind of disrupted, like, my entire existence. My my gang and my gang is completely destroyed. Um, I really like her character. I think that she had a very big character development moment. I think that when she locked the dragons up. Well, I sort of feel like, you know, man, maybe like if I'm writing this show, if if I'm writing Daenerys' character and realize, like, okay, maybe she's coming across in a certain type of way, like, I might go and try to re-fix that. And I feel like by her locking the dragons up, like you are saying, that really shows that, like, she's understanding that, like, it's just, it's bigger than her vision sometimes, you know? Right. Maybe, like, you know, she thinks that she's ultimately, like, the most self-righteous, but even though she's doing the right thing, she's causing a lot of pain and she's a lot of displacement. And, and that was, was big good. for her character to actually take the courage to lock up something that means so much to her. I'm just proud because it seems like she's really listening. It seems like she's actually willing to go in and listen to people when mm -hmm. they come forth. And, and that's what you need in a leader at the end of the day. And she sits there through it and she doesn't seem to shy away from it. She doesn't mm -hmm. seem to deny it and she it looks like she learned a lesson. But ultimately, I don't see how she can just lock her dragons up forever. You know what I'm saying? And one of them's missing. And so right. that's bound, something's bound to happen with that. I hope she doesn't have to make a really big decision by like killing it or something. I think she should lock the dragons up forever and throw away the key but that's because i'm a third party observer but if you're daenerys you're not going to do that and i understand that so well i'm thinking from daenerys perspective absolutely only. yeah 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 me yeah. but um anyways that was that was big it was big for i think that was big for marine honestly absolutely and then obviously Jon Snow did something so strange. He went north, buried Egret in the north. And it's like, I appreciate the sentiment. And it really just goes to show the heart of Jon Snow. I don't think, mm. you know, that's and that's something that really goes along with Daenerys with me. Like, Jon's sitting here and he's like taking that girl north and stuff. But it's like the show didn't really address it. And maybe it won't. But I'm sitting here feeling like, dude, like she just infiltrated your your base and she killed your brothers. And I understand that it's, you know, it's, it's complicated. But just in terms of like what you're representing to your to your brothers like you can't do that like did no one notice that he took one of the enemy's corpses north to give it like a proper burial it's kind of weird right i don't know but i feel like his brothers are so much brothers that they understand his feelings for egret Ma yeah i mean that's I mean, easy you to say sam, but you heard sam at the top he was like how, how much, was it blah, blah blah like they all know but at the same time man when you're part of the team it, it, no matter how much you love someone like when a bunch of dudes get together, man, like either one guy's the alpha and everyone falls in line or no one's the alpha. And the minute someone well, starts bucking, like alpha, people put so them in their place, listen. potentially. So, um, so that was very <laughs> interesting to me. The show didn't really address that, but he went north, which I was glad to see. Um, you know, I think he did right by her. I understand the complicated situation. Really sad that Bran, Bran got north, finally, finally met the three eyed raven. Mm -hmm. Um, the dude he was with ended up passing away, right. giving his life for it. And apparently he knew he was going to die the whole time. Mm -hmm. So, when he was stabbing him, babe, did he not look calm? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of like he knew it was coming. So he was just like wanted Bran to get where he needed to go. That and was the, the children look weird. Mm -hmm. The children was scary. They had all these magical powers, which like, you know, we see magical powers a bunch of places, but this one was different. This yeah, one it was, was a little goofy to me, guys. I ain't going to lie. That, when that, that one was one, throwing them fireballs. I, I was I was good on that. Right. Like that one was a little different. Maybe we'll find out more about that. We probably have to go watch the history. The I really, water. really, 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 really. Let me say that eight times. Appreciate the realism of this show. So, I mean, when you know what I'm saying, when Mario runs up and catches a flower and starts shooting the little fireballs out of his hand that's what that I, like. I didn't really expect that i guess i didn't expect right. to start doing that but that's but I, one little minute that's one little moment but it was a good show. it was a good thing because i feel like a lot of that to me and, I, and i'm thinking about brand's character a lot brand's character he doesn't need to walk he he has that ability to just like warg into things that are helping him and when he said he could fly that reminded me of that guy warging the eagle. So I'm thinking maybe Bran is going to be able to warg something that can fly. It seems like if he could, if he couldn't warg an eagle, then what business does he have warging Hodor? You could be right about the dragons, though. Yeah, that was my grand theory. In yeah, the end. I think Bran because because it, he said you'll fly. I think my ultimate theory, guys. That I think ultimately Bran is going to warg the dragon, and the dragon is going to be used to burn all the White Walkers and in the war. Yeah, hopefully, or whatever the case. That would be. be dope. So that'd be dope. That's my prediction so far. Yeah, that part was crazy, man. Which Very R.I.P. Sad. to Jojen Reed. Yeah. Appreciate you. Who's Jojen Reed? Jojen Reed's the one that let this, the he had the sight. Oh, that boy right there? Yeah. Mm. 
Peter Pan. Well, I thought he played Peter Pan on a uh, TV show that I watched back in the day, but it turns out it, it was, wasn't him. It was, it was fully my favorite part of the episode, guys. Let me take that back. It wasn't my favorite part of the episode. It was just up there with all of them. Mm-hmm. Arya Stark and the Hound. We discussed it. We paused it in the episode. Right. What Amazing. What do you think? Did she Did she want him to suffer or was she sparing him? Tell us what you guys think, because what I personally think is it was a little bit of all of it. Like, I think she not only looked at him because, you know, he just did all that fighting for her. Like he was literally. Ultimately, yeah. Yeah. He just was like, nah, like you're not coming up here. She, she's lost everybody. You're not just going to come up here and take her. Yeah. And so she did that because he did that because she just wasn't sure because the Lannisters have a bounty for his head. So he just wasn't going to play with that. Well, yeah, it seems like the Hound definitely. I mean, dude, everyone can see that the whole vibe of them is a father and a daughter. Mm -hmm. Right. So everyone's getting that unorthodox version of it. But yes. And maybe that's part of why, like, I'm really starting like Arya's character because I'm seeing her reluctantly take on the role of like maybe not the most willing but a daughter even though right. she doesn't like she's not begging for it but it, it's cute man it's good to see yeah it's it's complicated guys it's very dark in a lot of ways but you got to look for the good in the show and i think that's a really cute sentiment mm-hmm. and then ultimately the shocker the shocker so far other than two bees dying well damn there's been so many ned dying two bees dying and then this right here was a good third. you missed six you missed about six moments at least that yeah, was just yeah. crazy oh i know i missed moments but i'm talking about like these shocker of deaths i was not expecting tywin to die ever you Boom. know what man one of my <laughs> like and i'm not gonna give too much away but you asked me like in a previous episode i think the last one like what was one of my favorite moments even when the hound Arya's like he's like they'll be dead by winter and she's like you don't know it and he's like i do know it yeah. just like the way he just like just his dialect in that scene like the way he it's the things like that in the hey, show hey that me, scene dude. though that you said remember he took his gold and he said a dead man doesn't need gold i feel like Arya kind of did that to him when she took it, yeah, like there I was kind of like, go, a, man. that was kind of like a re, like, I felt like that was kind of like the same scene, but opposite. But like I said, man, the shocker of the episode, as it turns out, Shay was ultimately. Now we're not really sure a hundred percent how Shay, we, we knew she was escaping. I don't know how long she's been involved in that. It could have been a long time or it could have been, she went to the tower and he just like used her. I don't know. Cause remember, well, Cersei, someone said in the comments, like, what do you think they would have done to Shay if she would have said anything else on trial? Because right. the, the thing is, is like she escaped, but you know, like, you know, man, I just didn't get the vibe in that trial that she did that reluctantly. Like it really seemed like to me that in that situation, like Tyrion's cars ran out and she hopped ship and she just, you know, like when some, when someone does you wrong, man, they can either walk up to you and they can like reluctantly do you wrong and feel shame, or they can just pretend like they didn't do anything wrong to begin with. And she just sort of seems like that type to me. Yeah. And I don't necessarily blame her. I mean, the, the world seems very tough, particularly like if you're a female, you know, Mm -hmm. doesn't really seem to be a lot of options so for her she's just doing the same thing so many other people are doing man she's just playing the game but unfortunately when you're a girl you have to do it in a different way which comes across sleazier but it's not her fault i mean she doesn't have the threat of brute violence and you get what i'm trying to say she She has to play it different yeah and to survive you know and she got caught playing the game and it was with the wrong family but it was different like the way she played the game was different and hurtful so much different in a way and this scene Tyrion was just heartbroken man and I don't know exactly what was going through his mind, but he did make the statement. I loved her. And he was still so hurt that when Tywin would call her or basically, bro, like every time he would do that, he would he would cringe on the inside right. and get mad at him. And I think what really could have hurt Tyrion was the fact that like you're sitting there proclaiming her to be a whore through your own mouth. So that's all she is to you. Right. You knew what but she, she was matters to me. a lot to me. And you yeah. still knew that that particular line of work is literally a dime of dozen. You know what I'm saying? And you still chose to do it. And then he and then he played it off like he didn't really know it was like, who? Shay? Who's yeah. that? Like, oh, yeah. oh. So and disrespectful. What I re- And I'm so sorry that I'm talking so much, babe. I just have a lot of thoughts, guys. That's okay. One more thing I wanted to mention, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it, is did you notice when when Tyrion walked in there and Tywin was on the toilet? Did you see how Tywin stayed calm to control the situation? Mm-hmm. Like, do you say like, did you see how he was making it basically seem like the idea that I'm sitting here on the toilet and we're having this discussion is very there's no dignity in it. Right. And Tywin has Tywin just completely sold that whole logical reason down the toilet when he caught Shay in his bed. Mm hmm. That was crazy, guys. That was just one of the coolest things. It's you remember you said he's gonna go out in the coldest way because he's so Tywin. I don't know if that was the coldest way, but it was good to see Tyrion do it. I don't like the deaths in the show; they hurt my feelings a lot. But this one was like to see Tyrion after that trial finally get the revenge he needed. Like, oh my gosh! Like 
But the thing is, he lost, like, you know, the love of his life. That sucks. But And, you know, something that you guys might appreciate is I just had the thought before I completely forgot and never mentioned it. Tywin just died. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right before his death, he spent his final moments of his life basically almost almost like when you figure out something terrible so you go into the bottle he went into the bed right which is something he really hates right he had to face the fact that his legacy was a lie i forgot about that yeah his whole his whole mm -hmm. heritage his whole lineage of proud kings you know they're gonna remember like oh yes my grandson is a king i'm so proud it's so noble but the reality is is yeah your grandson's a king and that's great and it sounds good on paper but the reality is it's joffrey and he yeah. sucks and it's like mm. it's too bad that like you're you're in this position that so many men in this society would kill to be in but it's just not quite what it's cracked up to be because of so many underlying issues and you know there's something and i've said it from the beginning man like your kids don't come out that screwed up dude unless you're well, a little they, screwed up in yourself, this right? in their universe it comes out in the form of incest like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so sure. I think that I don't know if Joffrey was a little bit of that and a little bit of like, you know, he's just a little cuckoo, but it seems like the the newer ones. OK, but now he has no hand. So I don't know who's going to be the hand now. It better not be Cersei. I swear to God, I didn't even think about the I mean, obviously the thought occurred to me. Right, babe. But not only is there a complete vacuum of leadership in the north, there's not a vacuum of winnership in terms of the north and like Winterfell, but there's a vacuum of good leadership there. There's a vacuum of leadership in King's Landing now, babe. Like, the Tyrells Tywin's are about gone. to take like, over. The Tyrells, they're about to take over. That's okay. Tywin's the only thing in between them because Tywin, remember, Lor the only reason Cersei was marrying Loras was for like money. Well, now Cersei doesn't have to do that because Tywin's not going to make her. That's right. Didn't even think about that. Oh, wow. So this is about to switch so much on different ways. So Cersei's going to look at her little brother as the, the, the man who killed her mother, killed her father, and killed her son. And ultimately killed their legacy, killed their home. More people were probably going to die in the future. Like the Lannister house was like so up here at the beginning of the season. Now it's like... And you know Whoa. why it all fell apart? For a lot of reasons, but one of the biggest reasons, and I know you guys just don't want to hear it, but it's because... Jamie was banging his sister, bro. Well, I hate to say it, but dude. A lot dude, of it also is because it's Tywin. Well, they went into war. Yeah, but that whole situation up there ultimately got them in a war. You know what I'm saying? Even mm. if it was Littlefinger's doing, they played right into it. Got them in a war. That war exposed. It exposed that family. Mm. And had that war never came, they'd still be sitting there all pretending it was all okay. Right. Guys, but, but at the end of the day, though, when you think about it, and I'm not saying what Jamie did was right because that sucks and it's not good. But for Bran, it opened up a new power that Bran never had. So in the end of the day, it's made Bran like a more valuable person. Sometimes you beat people in the head and they wake up from a coma and realize they can do math at the blink of an eye. But they still probably wish you didn't beat him outside the head right um yeah man crazy episode one of the best one of the best one of the best episodes in tv movies I, right. i've genuinely I, ever I seen i wrote something down life. right here that though babe so good sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you no please i i wrote something down right here because like i i didn't know like this hasn't been addressed in two episodes but like when Arya was laughing at the eerie and nothing happened what what's going on there like what do you think why didn't they show it where's little finger what happened to that the mom that I mean, she fell, obviously. But, like, what's going on with that? Arya and, and them did, couldn't even yeah, get there. Yeah, it seems like they... Did they turn around? Did they... I don't know. Are they guests and they're just out on a walk? You know what I'm saying? They yeah, didn't really I don't know. Say. They didn't say anything about it. So, that's, like, the biggest mystery I have leaving leading into Season 5 other than Arya going to Braavos. I, and also, like, Stannis. Like, right. all of that is a big question. So, like, do you have any theories on it or anything you want to share? You don't? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I just don't. I don't know where you it's don't going. You know anything about Melisandre? Nothing? None. None. I, I don't. Uh, guys, I don't know. I don't know. You just don't know? Uh, all I know is, dude, because this show doesn't tell me. Dude, it, it's sitting there telling me that, like, why, well, dude, we're not putting puzzles together. We're breaking them apart right now. Okay, off the top of your head, tell me what, when Daenerys finds that dragon, what's it going to be doing? Drag racing with his friends? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, what do dragons do when they sneak away? Exactly. I don't know. That's Eating what I, that's Sheep? that's what i wanted to know i don't know i don't know where don't we're know. gonna find that thing that thing might just but how can like you not find that thing a dragon <laughs> yeah oh my god i know i put a tracker on that dragon the only prediction that i that i that i can really think to be honest like maybe i'm just kind of dumb guys but the only thing i can really piece together and see is i just don't think john's gonna be rocking with melisandre and i mm. think that Oh, he's going to see Stannis like J bowing to that. John's going to make an enemy of Stannis or John is going to. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, man. I never I never thought about how that is. This gonna episode, so much happened. And I'm going to say that out of every episode we've seen in this show, this one might have had the most information in it. Right. And, and impact because right, everything's exactly. going to change. Like, exactly. Like next season, 
I, I won't be surprised if there's a new map. <laughs> like, what the heck's gonna happen, you know? Yeah. Like, oh my goodness, and like, how's Tommen gonna do? Like, I, we don't even know. There's been no talk about Tommen even. Like, seeing how he handles, like, situations or... It seems like everyone in the in the realm is kind of distracted right now, so... Luckily for Tom, and he's got a very easy introduction, introductionary period because it just doesn't seem like a lot's going on right but now. But he was kind of like following Taiwan's lead, so now I don't know what's gonna happen with him. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. you're right about that. Yeah. Who's gonna? You're saying like who's gonna be the ones? Maybe, maybe Jamie will have to step up. Because when I think of Taiwan, I think of someone who like has been doing this for so long that you're the only person keeping that standard that because you've been around. So you, your family matters. So you marry matters. All this stuff matters, but. But now that Taiwan's gone, it could go anywhere, you know? It, it does seem like a lot of like, it seemed like if it was up to Cersei and Jamie per se, they would make a lot, a lot, a lot of selfish decisions that were self serving short term. Like you can, like, Taiwan was the like one to make hard be decisions. A Kingsguard. You can be a Kingsguard, but let's say you meet the right woman, you can retire if you want. Like, right, that's what yeah, I feel exactly, like it could yeah. be. Or if you want to marry your sister, okay, that's fine. You know. Or what would be even worse, it's not like those new standards would apply to everyone. Maybe they would just apply to the core family, which ultimately would like lower the respect for them. But you see what I'm saying about Taiwan? He I was kind of like the just the, the no, glue. Yeah, the yeah, glue exactly. to everything. So like he even knew that he wasn't the Lannisters weren't, didn't have money anymore. So he got the Tyrells involved. Like who's gonna make these decisions now? Tyrion's not there. I don't know. But you know what, guys? I hate to see him go, but it was so fun to watch him leave. So, <laughs> guys, it's been the Octobers, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want more content like this. And I'm just going to repeat myself one more time, man. Thank you guys so much for picking this in a poll uh, on Patreon, guys. We put it out in a poll a while back and mm -hmm. just said, you know, we started out, we wasn't really trying to do TV shows on the channel. We wanted to stick to, like, movies, you know, because there's just so much TV shows and some of them can get so long. So, we put this out in a poll and you guys said that it'd be a shame if we didn't put it on YouTube. And it was one of the best decisions we ever made because it's great we're just sharing it with so many awesome people and i didn't realize so many people were passionate about a show like this and right. guys this is a once in a lifetime type thing and i'm just having the time of my life so thank you so we'll much. be back with more soon